us continue this uh, this morning with again my honor and privilege to receive my. Uh, we've been knowing each other for many, many years now. We're not that young anymore. Uh, Ryudin Chen from Chongchen University that will that will give us a talk called Scientific Exploration of Causation in Biomedical Research: The Case of Gene Targeting on Mouse Embryonic Stem Cells. Uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, it's my honor to take part in this workshop. Many thanks for Alessandra and the Chalice organization. My talk is Scientific Exploration of Causation in Biomedical Research, the case of gene targeting on mouse embryonic stem cell. I, I am hard of hearing. Oh, my friend will help write down your question and the comments. Maybe I answer you by typing because my pronunciation is not smooth. This paper aims to explore scientific exploration of causation in biomedical research. By scientific exploration, I mean search for new information, data, or knowledge beyond what is known about some objective by plural means. I use this concept in contrast to scientific explanation <coughs> because a scientific exploration does not answer a why question. A scientific exploration answers a question of whether there is new information, data, or knowledge or not. A scientific exploration of concession aims to discover new information, data, or knowledge about a particular causal relationship. It can also determine whether a supposed causal relationship between a factor and a phenomenon exists or not. Hence, a scientific exploration of causation involves the establishment of criteria of causation, which biomedical scientists frequently appeal to robot cohorts, postulates, to explain a scientific exploration of causation. I offer a case study of gene targeting on mouse embryonic stem cells in particular, employing this technique to produce gene clap out mice that express the symptoms of cystic fibrosis and to establish a mouse model for human disease of cystic fibrosis. The main goal of biomedical <coughs> scientists concerned with causation is to search for causal relationship between some causes or factors and the sub effects of interest so that they can solve problems or eliminate undesired effects rather than spread those phenomena. How do they find a causal relationship between a specific cause and a specific effect? According to what criterion of causation do they derive a reliable claim and a specific factor is the real cause of an effect of interest? I call it general action of biomedical scientists conduct for their goal and the practice scientific exploration of causation. A scientific exploration of causation is a compound action that integrated exploratory experiments, background knowledge and ideas, the production of research tools, standard, these operational procedures, database searches, animal modeling, the realization of structure and, uh, and the logical reason. The kind of action are is best instructed by using gene targeting on mouse ES cells to produce gene connect out mice. 
to investigate functions or dysfunctions of specific genes. Investigating a function or this function of a specific gene is exploring the causal relationship between the targeted gene and some unknown expression. For example, a proper function or this function in mice to explore such a kind of causal relationship, biomedical scientists have forced to select a doable gene in the mouse genome from such public databases or by means of gene sequence and then produce gene like out mice by means of homologous the combination taken. In producing gene like out mice and observing the expression of the produced mice Biomedical scientists may identify a causal relationship between a function future and the targeted genes. An actual case is the establishment of the mouse model for CF by gene targeting in 1992. The established causal relationship is reliable and that this investigation is a scientific exploration of causation. Why can such a relationship be established reliably? The key is the master of gene targeting for clock arts. A gene clock art refer to the technique according to which a targeted gene in an organism is deleted from or made inactive in the genome of the organism. The technique offers sufficient evidence for judgments of causation, which biomedical scientists frequently appear to postulate causation in order to justify. To fit with the requirements of the particular cases or the new development, biomedical scientists also revise cohorts original postulates once again. I will discuss some revisions. Scientific exploration is a concept extended from that of exploratory experimentation. In the philosophy of science, the conception and the practice of exploratory experimentation has been discussed since Brian and the Stan. Gifford extended the concept of exploration to modeling and the matic suggests a general concept of exploration. As he said, that exploration is a key scientific practice and percolate all scientific fields and the methods. Below, I will provide a general characterization of scientific exploration. I use scientific exploration to refer the action of search for new information, data, or knowledge beyond what is known about some objective by plural scientific means. The objectives include phenomena, regularities, properties, relations, structures, mechanisms, concepts, instruments, methods, and maybe others. The scientific means involve experimentation, observation, measurement, modeling, hypothesis, and theorizing, and so on. Hence, a scientific exploration arms at the discovery or findings. Scientific discovery are the end of scientific explorations, and scientific explorations in terms of the <coughs> means action and uh, our press <coughs> process of scientific discoveries. Section three of my paper discuss the gene targeting technique and then using the technique to construct a mouse model for human CF disease. Due to the limited time, uh, I skip the detail. A scientific exploration of causation is usually performed to answer the question whether or not there is a causal relationship between a factor 
and the fundamental. Sometimes the factor is known, and the fundamental is unknown or undetermined. Sometimes the factor unknown or undetermined, and the fundamental known. Sometimes both are unknown or undetermined. In all situations, the supposed causal relationship are unknown or undetermined. A scientific exploration position is thus used to determine whether or not a supposed causal relationship really exists. Hence, a scientific exploration position always involves establishment of a criteria of causation. In many cases, a criteria of causation is embedded in the exploratory methods or Procedures used to discover the supposed causal relationship. The creation of the gene collected out of mice of CF by the technique of gene targeting per se is the research of animal experiment. This mouse experiment presupposes the following background assumption uh, there is a gene equivalent to the human cystis fibrosis transfer regulators gene in mice, which is responsible for the production of the marine CFTR protein. The marine CFTR regulates the transport of chloride ions into and out of cells in mice, altering or inactivating the marine CFTR gene will result in the abnormal CFTR and the abnormal transport of chloride. The abnormalities further result in the disease of CF in mice, which would be displayed on the symptoms similar to that of the human CF. The four background assumptions apply to group of chloride relationships. A1 and A2 imply the first group of causal relationship between the CFTR gene and its multiple effects, including the products of the normal CFTR button and the normal chloride transport. A3 and A4 imply that the second group of causal relationship between the other the CFTR gene and the its multiple effects, including the abnormal CFTR protein products and the abnormal chloride transport. All these assumptions in turn stem from the background knowledge of the human CF disease. The substance the disease is an autosomal the excessive disease, the partially pathological mechanism, the identified direction of the genetic factors, uh, that is the CFTR gene, uh, the location of the CFTR gene, the mutation that result in the abnormal CFTR protein, the identified, identified perfections of the Mutation and so on. <coughs> Under the laws of background knowledge and assumptions, the scientist Oliver Smith and his team conducted the experiment of the CF mice by the technique of gene targeting. This experiment derived the following three outcomes. The first outcome is the realization of the four background assumptions from A1 to A4 and the, the determination of the function and the dysfunction of the marine CFTR and the genetic factor. A marine gene that is equivalent to the human CFTR gene was discovered by gene sequencing. 1991. The second is the production of experimental animals as tools for the investigation of the pathological 
mechanism of shape in mass. The third is the construction of a mouse model for the human shape at the end. Logical inference from the mouse model of CF to the human CF uh, all uh, are comes a uh, consequence of scientific progression. Uh, one man want to say that Smith's experiment that the CF mice confirm the hypothesis about the pathological mechanism of the human CF because of the hypothesis guides the experiment and the derived assumption. But I think saying such may be too hasty. In fact, the assumptions were not derived from the hypothesis about the disease because the experiment objects are mice rather than humans. There are only assumptions about what might happen in mice given the background knowledge about the psychologically similarities of mice to humans and about the human chef. People did not know whether or not the equivalent CFTR gene in mice would function as the human CFTR gene before Smith's experiment. People did not even know whether or not there is a marine gene equivalent to the human CFTR gene till the discovery by means of gene sequence. In 1991, uh, the nature of Smith's experiment is to create or realize the CF disease in mice and uh, investigate the coral pathway of the disease from the marine CFTR gene to the symptoms and the experimented mice. Uh, that is the chloride transport. I rather than to confirm a given hypothesis of the human CF. I like for Smith's research is a scientific exploration concession in the following four senses. And of course, the experiment provides new data and knowledge about the marine CF disease by realizing the background assumption. The data and the knowledge are part of our knowledge about the CF, helping puzzle out the complex mechanism of the CF disease in humans and the mouse. Uh, in this sense, the experiment is exploratory. Two, in the experiment, the scientist intervene a specific vector curve that has been targeted, uh, that is the marine CFTR gene, and uh, observe what effects would be resulted by this intervention. Uh, if the uh, assumed effect occurs, then the assumption about the coral relationship between the vector and the effects is realized, and a new coral relationship in mass is discovered. Hence, the arm of the experiment is not to provide a coral explanation for a given phenomenon. Uh, in fact, uh, the effect was unknown before the experiment. Uh, it is not uh, a given phenomenon and uh, whether we to explain. Uh, in this sense, it is exploratory. Third, the research of CF uh, offers a coral inference and a coral pathway from the abnormal regulation of the chloride transport to the symptoms of the human CF disease. However, the inference is analogical because it infers from the mouse model to the human conditions. In other words, the hypothesis that the CFTR regulated the 
chloride transport in human bodies is not confirmed because this research did not experiment on human subjects. On the contrary, the hypothesis established by the mouse modeling was waiting to be tested by some experiment on human cells or subjects. In this sense, it is exploratory, but not only an exploratory experiment. It also makes modeling, analytically reasoning, and hypothesizing beyond mere experimenting. Fourth, the research of CF mice established a standard method for other similar investigations to and to help develop new therapeutic drugs or methods in the future. A scientist who discovered the, the, the marine CFTR gene said that an animal model of cystic fibrosis would be useful in elucidating the role of CFTR in the normal and the disease status and for testing new treatment uh, modalities. All the arms are exploratory rather than explanatory. Uh, why scientists judge that there is a correlation relationship between a targeted modified gene and a specific feature in experimenting mass? Uh, according to what criteria or condition can scientists do such a judgment? Biomedical scientists frequently revisit the biological cohorts postulate of causation, discussing and revising cohorts original postulate to fit with new development in biomedical science also form a transition of exploration and conception. The original cause postulates uh, can be formulated as follows. Okay, when the first that occurs in every case of the disease in question and under circumstances which can account for the pathological change and the clinic cause of the disease. K2, the parasite occurs in no other disease as hortitus uh, and non pathogenic person. After being fully isolated from the body and the repeated grown in poor culture, the parasite can induce the disease anew. Uh, welcome. I propose a set of more Killer cohorts postulates for the demonstration of correlation between gen genetic variations and the disease. He formulated the following five guidelines. However, uh, the phenotype or properties and the investigation should be associated with pathogenic members of a genus or pathogenic strain of a species. Specific in activation of the gene associated with the suspected prevalence <coughs> trait should lead to a measurable loss in pathogenicity or virulence reversion or allelic displacement of the mutated gene should lead to restoration of the pathogenicity. The three guidelines revised from Cohort's original formulations don't involve the method of gene manipulation. How further suggest the following to alternative? The genes associated with the supposed relations trait should be isolated by molecular methods specific in activation or deletion 
of the genes she led to loss of the function in the crown. Uh, the replacement of the modified genes for its allelic counterpart in the child origin she led to loss of function and the loss of pathogenicity or virulence. The restoration of the pathogenicity she accompanied the the introduction of the weird type gene. The reversion called postulation show that the establishment a standard procedure operation in a scientific exploration of causation. In the case of cystic fibrosis, however, scientists in active with a normal gene to make a disease appear in the experimented mice has already humanity the guidelines for such cases as CF and the other cases in which its press function or features are not diseased by reference paramocular postulates of causation. M1 loss of a function or a future are associated with a mutation of a gene should be discovered in some individuals of a kind of organism, specifically in active action or deletion of the normal gene, should let the loss of the function future in the experimental organism. Uh, for example, the like other mice. Uh, the specific function now uh, differs between the individuals with the modified gene and the individual with the normal gene should be observed. Uh, I call the combination of M1 and M3 and M3 the intervention version of the cohost postulates. <coughs> it offers a strong <coughs> criterion of causation. If one finds that a specific gene and a specific future satisfy the three conditions, then one warranty believe in there is a causal relationship between the gene and the future. The criterion is embedded in the standards, procedures of the gene, like other methods, and the basis of the gene targeting again. In the final part of this section, um, let me provide a preliminary analysis of the intervention version from a philosophical perspective of causation. M1 implies the condition of correlation because its test layer is a statistical correlation between a loss of a function and a mortality <coughs> and to impress the condition of a counterfactual intervention because it says an intervention is meant to realize a counterfactual situation. M3 impresses the condition of difference making by intervention because it says the difference between the intervening objects and the not intervening objects is resulted by the intervention. Uh, I have no conclusion. Thank you for listening. So now I'm going to And then you are welcome to email to me at teleconference. Okay, so for a long question, it's better that you email directly to Berlin. For short question, Jonathan is a volunteer. To, to, to write it to So, Karen? So, my question has to be asked here so we can see the dramatic effect. Because I want to say, wait, argue against uh, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is um, um, I wonder what Ray thinks about his account in relation to uh, Michelle's uh, comment that you think the um, Causal reason principle is domain neutral. His ratings account, he presents this case, and then he tried to uh, show that oh this um, this uh, method, you know, then uh, the view of this uh, mice model, and he showed that there is this um, um, criterion of causality uh, 
embedded in the in the method in this case, Isagi. Um, are, are you okay, Jonathan? Uh, <laughs> because it seems a long question. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, okay, so like, I already... Your question. Do I you agree or not with okay. the list domain neutral okay. uh, of causal reasoning? <laughs> that, that's all I wrote. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Raylan started answering it. Good, 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 good. Okay. Go for it. I guess while Raylan is typing, I could take another oh, question yeah, and yeah, write yeah, it down. Yeah, Maybe well. more efficient. Yeah. Right now. Everybody's waiting for the answer. Uh, okay. <laughs>
start again at 11.30. We should thank our speaker again.